hopefully it'll be a little sunnier, a little warmer, and maybe a little drier. So, you know, people ride in the rain all the time. It's not impossible. So it's going to be a big deal, really. This is the bike I'm going to ride. One of these R19. Okay, here we go. Hopefully I can see. She said we're not going to go too fast. You don't have traction control on this, so easy does it. Okay. So this is my first time actually riding in the rain. <laughs> Don't tell them. Um, but we're not going to go that fast as a controlled ride. And also, except for my own bike, I can't imagine a better choice for me than uh, this bike since the controls are so similar to mine. Yeah, the, the things are different, but it's very, very similar. You know, the shifting lever and all that is right where it's supposed to be, for me. Okay, wants to get over. Appreciate you not getting over. The, uh, you know, the cutouts for my knee, very similar. The, the tank is a little wider, I think, than my bike, so it feels a little different, but it's almost the same. Mirror's not quite in the right place for me. Mm. It's better. It seems okay. Now, um, the distance of the handlebar, the grips seem almost the same. That feels very familiar. So this is a 20, just under 3, right at 3. It's probably a little bit too low. Now in first gear. These guys give a full-blown uh, safety chat. This woman here in the uh, fluorescent, she was signing people up and now she's giving us a, a little bit of a ride. I think she felt bad that I was here yesterday and I didn't get the ride and then I came back and then early and all the bikes I wanted to ride, these, this bike here and the scrambler, which is the, the scrambler version of this bike, we're both, we're all sold out time-wise type of thing. So she set up this ride for me and this other guy. I don't know why he got a ride special, but now it's just the three of us. Yeah, see, I can feel my, I'm holding my, the tank with my legs, my knees, and I, that allows me to hold the grip on the uh, handlebar so much lighter because I just feel like I'm already planted on the body of the bike. This riding position is what I'm used to and it's so much to me more sensible than the sit-back cruiser version where you're you can't it's harder to grab the bike and you're using the handlebars to hold on to it too much or a lot more I should say you know it obviously works fine and people do it all the time but I really prefer having my uh, knees holding onto the bike and my hands are free to grip or not grip or whatever I need to do. Clutch, etc. My legs are soaked.
SUV passing me on the right. But if I don't want to pass her, just stay ahead of them. So I'll let them go. I think we're going to come down here and turn left or something. bumpy but again hang on with your knees if you can if your bike allows it get hold on to the handlebars lighter the bumps make it harder to uh, control the throttle of course now it might be that actually my throttle is not very responsive I don't know so when I hit bumps and stuff it still basically stays smooth whereas this is a lot more sensitive that's also a possibility with these more modern bikes the uh, this R92, plus the Indian Scout I rode earlier. I saw that coming and stood up, that was great. Because I can. Because my feet are underneath me instead of out front. Okay. This, this person seems like a very responsible rider, which I like. She said we're not going to do it. We're not going to. We're going to call it if we do rooster tails. And frankly, I think we are. But since they're behind her, <laughs> she's uh, just getting through the ride basically. Just at, at a lower speed. I'm sure if it was not raining, we'd be going a lot faster. right there. Uh, Jesus. Now I'm getting a phone call. <laughs> kind of busy. We got to call through, I'm afraid. <laughs> Hi, Mom. I'm on a brand new motorcycle in the rain. Or whoever it is. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's coming down hard. Coming down harder, I can feel it through the jacket. So, uh, this is going to be a little bit more than I had planned. Which is, uh, We're going to wait for the guy, I guess. I guess she honked thinking that I was talking to her about him, but I really was just saying I was talking to the truck. Oh, I'm getting caught. 
cold. I can feel my body getting cold. You okay? water inside the visor. Yeah, this is not waterproof. <laughs> you can see, like looking straight down inside the visor, I can see a little puddle of water. At the next red light, we'll be able to turn, I mean, to emerge now. miles an hour. So this is supposed to be a little uh, test drive on the R9T. Turn into some kind of trial by fire. <laughs> trial by rain. Because uh, yeah, this, this is a little bit more challenging, I should say. I don't recommend this for a test drive. But, you know, the BMW got through it. We're going to make it back fine, I, I know. I'm going to be fine, but I'm getting cold. Because I honestly wasn't prepared for this. So my hands are getting a little bit cold, and my legs are definitely cold. My, my, I'm just wearing jeans, stupidly. Cover the horn, the horn's right where I'm used to it being. jacket as well. But I had no idea it was going to rain. I thought, oh, it's going to rain in the morning. It's going to let up now. Instead, it didn't. It started raining more. <laughs> this is funny. This is exactly what I was trying to avoid, test driving in the rain. This is exactly what happened. But, I don't know. In a way, it's still good. It's definitely interesting. Met this nice woman here. A very conscientious writer, which I really appreciate. Maybe next time I should have gotten a, a bike with more protection. <laughs> this is like really rough and turning and wet all at the same time. I see big holes and water all over the place. Is she in a lane? Is that the bike lane? <laughs> She's in the bike lane. <laughs> Never mind. Oh. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm in one. And I can't, I can't, uh, it's so, uh, that's just not, not like my bike, I guess. My bike, I could do that without the clutch. Here I needed the clutch. Over that horn. Over the clutch. Smooth it out. Maybe I meant to smooth it out with the clutch. I don't know. I was supposed to ride these modern bikes. Modern contraptions. Both of their bikes have some kind of rain mode, apparently. She said she's going to put his on rain mode. Mine's on. Good luck buddy mode. <laughs> yeah, I'm using the clutch more and it seems to help a little bit smooth out the rough edges there.
I'll wipe off my wet glove on my soaking wet pants. See if that helps. Hope you guys can see all that. Now that we're almost back. I think we're going straight, yeah. So, a little bit of uh, the R9T from my point of view also in the rain. But it's very, very interesting to compare it to the uh, old Boxer airhead motor that I have on my R100R. This was really great. I'm glad to compare it. Cause I knew that this bike was a modern version of mine, basically. That was it in the rain. I've never even ridden my bike in the rain. You like that? Is that fun? Really dumb. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Yeah. Oh, this bike is awesome. So we did the kind of turn around. I kind of. Yeah. How much that is without using the clutch? Yeah. It does everything for you. And it does have that little burp in the rain gear, which is nice. But. I can't believe how it like, just kicked like that up and down. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. So fast. A couple guys that want to get on the standby list. And, uh, I've had them. They're down? Yeah, that's it. Okay. I don't know if we should do more standby because there's already like 10 people on it. Yeah. Okay, I mean, they don't know it out anymore like this. Anyway. Okay. That's, done. <laughs> that's it? What are you talking about? She didn't let me down. She got the job done. What's the matter with you? There's, look at the water coming out of the glove. Just. I'm, my, my feet are completely soaked. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though. I didn't get it in the crash on that bike. I got it all stuffed in Yeah. Do your feet feel drier now? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm wet no matter what. It's soaking wet. It yeah. Matter. I had water building up inside the visor. I had to open it up and there was water pouring out the front. Oh, yeah. 
Well, now, now I feel like we've been through a special journey together. I really got to get this one. I, I don't want to get A90. I, I got to get this R90. Well, that belongs to Herb Seaver. Well, that was fun. Yeah. Thanks for the ride. Thanks for helping me get it because I came yesterday and, and you helped me out. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. You too. Ride safe. Where's the bike? Get off my bike. Just kidding. Now, of course, it's not raining as hard. <laughs> Stop raining now. Uh, that's funny. I think it was actually raining harder in the middle of the ride, and then it sort of started backing off again. But see, did you hear that guy say, we're not doing it anymore, that's it, we're calling it? So uh, that was literally the last ride, probably. All right, talk to you. Back when we get back in the editing room. Bye. my own shadow. I was like, who's that? <laughs> right next to me. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs>